I'll get it. Hello. <laughs> Duh. Hello. Uh, no, I'm sorry. She's not in right now. Can I take a message? Okay, bye. Oh, hey, you guys. I didn't see you there. I was <laughs> just chatting on the phone. Um, or taking a message, as it were. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Allison. It's Wednesday. It's midday Wednesday. By the time you see this, it'll be Wednesday night. Um, so it's like you've made it over the hump. And, uh, you know, hence hump day, which... I don't even like that word, so I don't know why I brought it up. Um, anyway, who cares about what day of the week it is? Certainly not I, because this is the Daily Allison, so every day is the same to me, you know, but in a new and different way. I did the strategy room this morning on foxnews.com, hence all the makeup, and the getting up early, which is why I'm sort of tired and weird right now. Um, and I think I said the word balls, and I really stretched it out, I was like, balls? <laughs> like 22, 23, 24 times because we were talking about baby names. <laughs> and so naturally, I would say the word balls a lot. And we were talking about baby names and then um, Alfred Schultz was on my left. That's Bill Schultz from Red Eye's younger brother. And then Bill Schultz was on my right. There were some Schultz sandwich jokes. Um, and we were talking about Alfred's middle name and someone said that his middle name should be or is Cojones. And I said, yeah, they call him balls for short. <laughs> And then I just thought it was really funny to, to repeatedly say it, and apparently I still think it's funny. I was at a bar last night that had a mechanical bull, but I didn't ride it, because uh, I'm just not really the mechanical bull riding type. I prefer to ride real bulls. It's more organic and natural and suits my, my daredevil uh, lifestyle. It's like, if it's not extreme, I'm not doing it, you know. Anyway, let's just go to our guest, I think, because... Um, I should totally start doing this, this is pretty. I think we should go to our guest. It's Tony Kameen. He is a comedian and a writer. Um, I first saw him at the Benson Interruption, which is Doug Benson's uh, show where he has comedians doing comedy and then he interrupts them. And then I also saw him open for Doug Benson at Caroline's. And you might be thinking, wow, are you going to have everyone who was on that bill on your show? And you're probably not thinking that, actually, but I'm thinking that because I had... Doug, and then I had Graham Elwood as a guest here, and then I now I'm having Tony. So basically, my point is, if you invite me to your comedy show, I will pilfer from your lineup. Tony was also in the Marijuana Logs. Um, he's a pot smoker, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Hello. Hello, is this Tony? Yes. It's Allison Rosen. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm good. You're on live tape with the Daily Allison. Are you ready? Holy S word, yes. Oh, fabulous. Um, so, first of all, I have to give you kudos, because when we took a cab home from the show, the cab driver was trying to say that he was not going to make three stops, and instead of just being like, oh, okay, and getting out, which is what I would do, you're like, am I going to have to call in your badge number? And then he totally acquiesced. Well, you know, I had two ladies with me, and I think, that, you know, they always try to pull stuff. They don't want to go to Brooklyn. They don't want to do three stops. And uh, you got to get tough with these guys, you know? Right, but, I mean, that takes balls. Not really. I'm just, I just, it's just, I'm asking the question from the back. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not like he's threatening me with a knife at gunpoint. Gun, no, with a knife at gunpoint. I just can't believe I just said that. Well, he could um, be coming at you from two sides. He could be, like, wait, he could have you at gunpoint and then be waving the knife in your face. That'd be super thank scary. You, thank Yeah. Um, that's what I totally meant, too. That's, that was the image that I got. Um, and then I also wanted to ask you about the fact that you named your dog Dummy ironically, right? Oh, totally. Totally ironic. How is that working for you? Pretty good. It totally fits her. Uh, and we, we only use it lovingly. Uh, you know, it was my, uh, my wife liked the name right off the bat, so there was no dissuading her. You know, like I told you, we thought the bad is Ellen Barkin. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's um, Art Barker. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. 
but uh, then we just sort of fit, you know, and we thought it was a boy for the first two weeks, and it's, it's a little less mean if it was a little scoundrel boy. Right. As a lady, I guess it's a little mean, so, you know, when people have a problem with it, we say uh, it's a dumbbell or dumbbellina or something like that, something a little more feminine. Right, right. Um, but do you feel like people get the irony, like that, that really you're suggesting your dog is super smart, I guess? Um, well, most of, most of the, there's a, there's a, you know, in Park Slope, there's where I live, there's a lot of dog Nazis, so people, oh, right. people either laugh or they just like, they just like roll their eyes or they say, oh, that's so mean, you know, <laughs> but the thing about my dog is he doesn't understand English, so as long as you use it positively, I don't think she knows what's going on, because she's so dumb, right, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh. you know, we can't watch, you know, we can't watch Sanford and Son in front of her. Right. Because of the uh, the son father uh, relationship there, she calls him dummy a lot. But mm. uh, you know, we do it in, uh, uh, you know, like yeah, some people don't love it. Well, some people, even my comic friends, who you think they all harden and like yeah, ha, ha, they're like, how dare you? But uh, you know, it's stuck, and now it's just sort of fitting, and you know, it's just a, a name's a name. Right. Yeah. You know, now, now he's sort of attached to it, and uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. What did did someone suggest it kind of as a joke to begin with? I suggested it as a, as a joke because my mom has a bunch of birds. Mm -hmm. I call them all dummy, and then also uh, I got it from Todd Berry because he always called me dummy. Ah, I see. Like, hey dummy, hey dummy, hey dummy. Um, and now now I'm saying that the dog's looking over. So right. So if you know, Todd. She is, she does sound smart. Now, if Todd Berry came into your house and or apartment and said, "Hey, dummy," would you and your dog both turn? Me and my dog and my wife would all. <laughs> We'd be like, "Holy shit! What's Todd Berry doing in our apartment?" Right, right. Yeah. Um. Well, I think I told you that my younger sister. I, <laughs> I think I told you, and I'm sure that you filed this one away under things you will never forget. Um, my younger sister had a chicken named Dum Dum. Yes. Even though I thought dumb drum would be more appropriate. Oh, my God. Well, she was only three, so she wasn't really good with puns, and she's kind of stupid. Um, she's not really. I said that ironically. Is it raining? Well, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's raining here, too. I know. And, uh, um, you're, what, what are you in Brooklyn Heights? I'm yelling yeah, in, like, the Bococa area. <laughs> Where are you? are in Park Slope, right? Yeah, I'm on 7th here the same we when we look up at the sky the same rain cloud over both of us i'm gonna look up at it right now i tried but all i see is my ceiling but anyway um i'm oh. sorry this is like an ongoing problem with me which is that when i'm interviewing people and it begins raining i get distracted i'm like ooh, shiny object you ooh, wetness oh, in, right. in the air You're lighting oh the air shining no no <laughs> no i said wetness in the air Wetness in the air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is. I don't know if this is obvious, but it's it's been a crazy spring. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well, summer. I think it's officially summer, and it's rained like every day. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, and it's like we got we got effed over our spring because we've had a nice day here, nice there, but never like a string of like oh, it's it's a solid season. Right. And I think we just sort of screwed me over because when I moved here, we had a very mild. Here, I'm like, oh, I can handle New York weather, and then, like, you know, now it's just, like, brutal. Yeah, oh, I don't think this is typical, though. I think this is weird. I think it's, um, it's like nuclear summer. I don't know what that's like, but I imagine it feels like this. Nuclear winter, I mean. Even though I also don't know, uh, what that means, but, like, it's, I don't know how people dress. I mean, I know how I dress, because I, I could look down. Right. But I don't, there's no easy, like, like a... Speedo hoodie or something like this. There's no, like as a lady, I feel worse for you guys because I see these women, women coming home in sundresses just like drenched. Right. I I stopped wearing clothes altogether because they're just gonna get wet. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. attitude, Allison. Thanks. Well, on that note, we are actually out of time. But thank you for letting me talk to you about your dog and the weather. Oh, my film projects and my what about my career? Oh yeah. Well, where can people go to read about that? The whole week. <laughs> Did you really want to talk about that? Oh, I got nothing going on. Well, oh. it's lovely to talk to you, and thanks for having me on your show. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Bye. The rain. 
I am so tired of it. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.